somebody told me that Raspberry Pi would uh, produce a microcontroller, then my answer will be probably. <laughs> oh, really, really nice joke. <laughs> microcontroller, <laughs> Raspberry. <laughs> yeah, but it is real, and they created small microcontroller, which name is Raspberry Pi Pico. I couldn't make a box opening video, sorry about it, they sent me like this. I think they had another version with the box, I don't know. So I couldn't make a box opening video. When you buy a Raspberry Pi Pico, they will send you like this one, the small um, board, development board. In this video content, I will introduce you with Raspberry Pi Pico. This will be quick introduction. We will not coding anything right now. Just comparison between sizes, dimensions with the old um, popular development boards, how we can program Raspberry Pi Pico and also what is the features specifically, the important ones actually also for me. Let's talk about a little bit from the hardware, okay. This is a micro USB. You directly connect your Raspberry Pi Pico to your computer from here. Directly you can send the code from here there. This is the boot cell button. Before sending the code, before sending the, the file, the binary, you should press this button. Then your computer see the Raspberry Pi Pico as a USB storage device. Okay. This is the microcontroller, RP0040. These all pins are programmable. You know, these are the debug pins. This is the oscillator here, as you see. This part is for voltage regulation. I think this one, this one is the VBUS. That means the USB power you can take from here. I mean, this is the five volt, only five volt is here. What you give from the USB, you will get directly from here. So all the board is working with 3.3 volts. This is important. So you cannot find a five volt from the other parts, right? Raspberry Pi Pico has quite same dimensions with a um, node MCU USB A266 development board. Pico is greater than Arduino Pro Mini. It is longer actually, but the width is same. It's around same. As you expect, uh, Pico is smaller than Arduino development board. Also, you can put uh, two of them inside this development board, Arduino Leonardo I use here for an example. Pico has same dimensions, around same dimensions with one of the development board, which is from an embed LPC um, 1768. It has also the same uh, feature, drag and drop uh, programming, simply. Let's check some uh, board specifications of Raspberry Pi Pico. So it is an RP2040 microcontroller. I don't know how they called RP2040. This is coming from actually uh, here. If you check the data sheet of this uh, microcontroller, that means this RP means Raspberry Pi. This two means a number of cores. That means we have two cores on the uh, development board on the Raspberry Pi uh, Pico. This is a type of core. This is, this is M0 means this is ARM. As you understand, this is the floor numbers. Probably they will publish the new versions of it. That is why they give uh, these numbers, right? Because I think uh, you know in the next this can be four, which has a four number of cores. Maybe uh, they will produce another um, type of this board, like a Raspberry Pi three, four, and um, like this. So this, as, uh, as I told you, dual, dual core ARM Cortex M0. This is coming from here. Uh, flexible clock running up to 132 megahertz. This has also two megabyte and onboard flash memory, but it can be uh, updated. It can be increased up to six megabyte. If you are able to solder, you can increase simply the flash memory. Soldering the carrier boards, okay. USB device and host support. This is cool also. Low power sleep and dormant modes. We will see some examples about these things. This is the best uh, functionality also for me. Drag and drop programming. I, this is, I really like it. 
That means uh, actually when you plug this Raspberry Pi Pico to your computer, you know, I will show you this example right now in, in the following minutes, your computer see the Pico as a mass storage, like a USB stick. So you simply take your binary and drag to this USB stick, like copying some picture to the USB stick. That is all. So your code will work. There are 26 GPO, GPIO pins on the board, 2 SPI, 2 I2C, 2 UART, 3 12-bit ADC, 16 controllable PM, PVM channels, okay, temperature sensor, accelerated flight point libraries on chip, 8 programmable IO state machines for custom peripheral support. Also, as you can see here, that RC, for example, um, the, in the pinout, this is digital, this is RX, this, this pin can be used for all the functionality here, as an UR, as an I2C, as an SPIO, and as a GPIO, right? This is cool, this is programmable, like, like in the, in the STM, STM modules, right? This is quite same. So there are a few documentations here, Raspberry Pi datasheet, and this is the microcontroller, as I told you, which is an M0, right? ARM Cortex M0 processor. You can find the datasheet here. Hardware design you can find. And also there are some uh, introductory documentation. So also in the, in the actually in the board, uh, on the board, I can see that there are debug ports. So we can debug the board simply from Raspberry Pi also. There are two uh, coding style, as you see, with the micro Python, you can code and using C, C++. Okay, I choose first micro Python, micro Python and then C, C++. We can take, we can try both of them. Okay, let's, I should click something like that. This is around same, okay. As you see that here, uh, we install UF2 file, then we click, the, we push the button, then we simply copy this file to the um, Raspberry Pi Pico. That is all. Okay, I will try with the C and C++. I don't know this is the same. Okay, LED blinking. I plug my Raspberry Pi Pico to my USB port of my uh, computer. Okay. So simply, uh, this gives me something like index and info U2, UF2. There is a version, bootloader version and RPI2, model RPI2, okay. This should be Pico. <laughs> Board ID RPI, R, RP2, okay, I don't know. And there is an index, let's check, what is it? Okay, it's just... Uh, Gives us the link, this link, nothing in turn. So, I install this file. Okay. So, I install the file here, UF2 file. Then I simply, but I, I forget to click the button. Okay, I will, I will do it again. So, I will push the button and I will plug into my USB port so you see the same thing okay just I right now drag and drop the code here yeah it is working let's try the hello world application Hello world example. Okay, so I push the boot cell button. Then I clicked, then I plug it to my computer via USB. And as you see, it's just pops up the directory. But as you see that there is no um, UF2 file just we upload before. See, it's gone. So then Install the UFT file, hello world UF2.
They said here we can use Minicom. Okay, this is also possible. No problem. But I will use a putty here. I, I use Windows, right? I drag and drop the code. This should be not five, four. Okay, I just open the COM port. Yeah, it is working. So it just prints the hello world. So let's try again to see the AFT file does exist there or not. Okay, I just remove right now directly the USB. Okay, error reading from the serial device. So I just uh, click the boot cell button and I plug the USB back again. See, it's pop up then, but there is no our UF2 file. That's the thing. This is the idea. So guys, uh, that is all for me. Thanks for watching. I don't know about it anymore. Don't forget to subscribe and see you again.